guys, Disco Warlock here, bringing you some Dominion gameplay along with how to win at Dominion. Now, I've noticed while playing Dominion over this past weekend that a lot of people I don't think quite understand the game mode. Uh, now, I say this because there are three points in Dominion along with a one of the points is kind of the battle battlefield right uh, you've got enemy troops any NPC troops are uh, gathering from either team and they meet and they fight in the middle and killing these guys gives your team plus one point along with two renown and then there are two other points you can capture which generate one renown unless you're standing on it which generate two now that is what I'm gonna focus in on and that is standing and hovering on a point so let's just get into this game here and I'll, uh, I'll I'll run you guys through what what my strategy is. All right, so let's head on over to point A. Hopefully, yes, peacekeeper. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, oh, dude, oh I, f I fucking hate that freaking kidney stab. It's so cheap. Right. I'm trying to put together some combos for you guys here. Yes. Alright. Just gotta land a heavy. Oh, it's close. By the way, this is a shout out to, uh, to Donnie who's been commenting on my vids. Man, I'm running the build right now where I get revenge mode gain and, uh, sorry, on the shield. I took out the throw distance and I'm running revenge mode attack and the revenge gain by injury. And I just, like, I played a couple games before this, and I must say, it is rather strong. So, there you go. I, I went down to that Peacekeeper. So, things aren't looking good. But here we are. So, I'm, I'm reinforcing point A. I believe that that's what they call it in this game. And as you see, A, we're now getting plus two points every second for me standing on this. And being a heavy, I generate uh, renown to max out my feats. So, here we go. Let's beat this peacekeeper. You know, they got the best of me this first time around, but oh shit, two on one. Oh man, I hate Shigokis. They're friggin' oh oh pops are bad. Oh look at that. Oh fucking just GG chunk this guy's health. Oh man, you weren't kidding and this revenge mode attack. There we go. This could be a two on one. Here we go. Oh, pops the revenge again. What is he doing trying to revive your pony? He's got no stamina. This is it. Oh, he nails. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I played that horrible. Very nice. Fuck yeah. Smited from the light by Thor himself right there. Oh, Peacekeeper's back. Take two. I must say, Peacekeepers are like my least favorite, along with Nobushi. is just... Stab you, everything. Here we go, revenge. Oh, you again. Just, just barely lives, but dead again, almost immediately. Holy. Oh my God, another peacekeeper. All right, this time it's a two-on-one. I gotta stop. Uh, I do this way too often. You know, I get so excited when someone gets low health, and I just think one heavy. That's all it takes. And, you know, I end up getting like, killed because of it. I get oh. Hey, you see what I mean? One heavy. That's all it takes. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I end up getting too confident going in. Like, easy, easy parry for this guy. Oh. Who's next? Who's next? Already maxed out feats, and we're not even, like, three minutes into this game. But yeah, so basically, what you guys what you guys want to do is just hog a point, uh, particularly one that the enemy has easy access to, so you can generate a lot of kills, and that and like therefore uh, push your team's score quicker. The only downside is your other teammates have to be either at the center conflict where the the NPC troops are meeting. Oh, one second, one second. Here we go. Okay, another two v one. Can I do it? Oh, the unblockable. Oh, popped revenge a second time. Can I get him? Oh. Alright, alright, they've got him. Let's 
finish up on the Shigoki. Okay. Alright, okay, I see how it is. He's gonna charge like that. You lost zone B. I don't want him to get revenge, but I feel like he's gonna get it. Just because there's two of us wailing on him. Right there. Oh. Any minute now. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there's his revenge. He missed. He missed. Oh. Oh, and I'm gonna steal that kill with another beautiful execution. Alright. So back to what I was saying, your other teammates, they need to understand that you are just going to stand on one point. And they need to be actively recapping point B and killing the, the soldiers at point C. Now, if everything goes and works out correctly, the other team should be trying to do the same as well. They should have someone contesting you at point A or point C, depending on what map you're playing on. And they should have three guys that are going middle or trying to capture the other point. And, like I said, if your team understands what your strategy is doing, and if you can hold your point, it, it's pretty much an insta-win, because the amount of score that you get is ridiculous. If you have two people on point A and B on this map, you're getting plus four points, and then if you have point C, you get it plus five points per second, and it'll just chunk all the way up there. And plus kills are around eight to twenty points, depending if you get the execution or not. So... This is it. You literally. I mean, it seems kind of boring because you're just hanging out here, but. Oh, I almost want to run down to point B just because I feel like I could really help my team. But I know the moment you walk off point A here, someone's going to take it. And they've got someone down there also reinforcing that. Oh, oh my god. Uh, there's two of them down there. Should I help them? I was gonna revive him, he's dead. Alright, alright, this isn't looking that good. Uh, yeah, I can't sit idle, I gotta... Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go help him. I guess in scenarios like these, where it's better to have your teammates alive than dead is obviously the, the better case. So let's see here. Uh, fucking peacekeepers. Oh shit, that goddamn kidney stab and the kick. What? How does he get revenge? Shit. Alright, this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's literally spamming all his attacks. I, wow. I did not do a single thing. <laughs> just took the guy off my opponent, or off my ally, and that was it. My ally just cleaned up. Alright. Back up to point A. Oh, sudden death, we can end it right here. Yes, yes, gonna come and gank this guy from behind. Oh no. You lost zone A. Ah. So there it is. There I should have went back to zone A. This wouldn't have happened. You lost zone A. And yes, I Donnie, I'm definitely gonna work in that revive speed. It uh <laughs> so you can see that was quite the long wait. Uh oh. Oh shit, we're breaking. This isn't normal. Oh. Gets the revenge. Alright, Shigoki, you're done. You're done. It's over. Look at that chunked. Two hit. Oh! You gets the double kill. I mean, the second kill was kind of a kill steal, but nonetheless, double kill. Oh. There we go. Another kill. To remain. Where are these guys hanging out? They can't hide forever. There he is. This is where the throw distance. It's okay, we got him anyways. Fuck yeah, he's done. Disrespect him. There's one more. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, here we go. Of course. They always run. Peacekeepers always running. It's a headbutt. Oh yeah. Awesome. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, 14 and 1. 
it's not bad. Uh, but basically, I hope you guys got the gist of how to play Dominion. You know, you just stand on one point that you know the enemy's going to be at often. And you just got to plan with your teammates, let your teammates know what you're doing. And preferably, if you're going to stand on one point, be a heavy because they get the bonus renown. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Toss a like on it. Let me, do let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about it and anything else you guys would like to see. And for anything else, stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.